Union members from UAW Local 3056, which represents more than 400 jail employees, were present both inside and outside one government center as the consulting firm hired by the Lucas County Commissioners presented their report highlighting the need for a new jail. This facility is outdated. It's, uh, it's in need of repair. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's not safe. There's blind spots. Um, it puts all of us in, in jeopardy as we do our day-to-day -day jobs. The projected cost, $142 million. Commissioner P. Gherkin says the money will come from issuing bonds. I'm not worried about the market financing this for us. We, we can do that. Um, it's going to be tricky, uh, but it's not a choice anymore. I, I, really, it's, you know, if, you're, if your roof's falling in, you got to fix your roof. Commissioner Tina Skeldon Wozniak, who worked at the jail in the 1980s, says a new jail will enable the county to provide services that could reduce the number of repeat offenders. The people that are in there oftentimes either have mental illness or they have alcohol and other drug issues. If we help divert them from the jail to the proper settings, then we can save a lot more money down the road from them reoffending and coming back into the same jail. The county is looking at two options, a 448 bed jail or one that could house up to 700 inmates. The union representing the jail employees wants a 1,000 bed jail. They say it would create more jobs in Toledo and save taxpayer money. We believe that it would, it would be more advantageous to create a thousand bed facility for sentence misdemeanors. Um, instead of sending our tax dollars out to CCNO Stryker, we could keep those tax dollars here in Lucas County and Toledo.